<clears throat> well, I had originally filmed this on Mother's Day, but due to work and uh, my clear sinus infection uh, and a lack of getting that video from a friend, uh, fuck it, we're going to do it live. Uh, we're going to skip an opener and go right into the meat of it, of why we're here. I love my mother, and uh, I wish to express this all-consuming feeling uh, in the powers of a PowerPoint presentation, but uh, I neither have the skill nor time, and uh, I enjoy using markers, so we're going to have fun with it. Exhibit A. I actually formed inside of her body like some sort of alien virus and she was just like, hope it's a girl. I don't know about you, but when, when some sort of alien virus gets even close to me, I get very uncomfortable. Exhibit B. Uh, building off the aforementioned exclamation of her wanting me to be a female, I love my mother because her buildup allowed me to be an instant success. As bonus points, I had no control over the fulcrum on which the success depended on. I merely rode off the waves of joy and happiness it seemed to provide for about the first year of my life. Thank you, mother, for wanting a girl. Exhibit C, her love of the outdoors. In most cases, this would entail climbing mountains and frolicking in fields. Uh, but my mother wisely knows that the best mountains to climb are metaphorical, and frolicking is best left for pansy-ass bitches. Now, what my mother loves about the outdoors and its vast green hills is the fact that she is able to cut it, to mow the lawn. That's right. Hey, Mom. You just mowed that lawn yesterday. Hey daughter, it doesn't matter because it's about the journey of mowing the lawn that counts. Thanks mom. Exhibit D, this one time our family dog stole my mom's pants and ran around that she was currently wearing and I now have a memory of my pantsless mother running around after her pants in the jaws of our shipu, Shih Tzu Poodle mix. Thank you for that memory. It helps me through hard times. Exhibit E, her teaching. Seeing my mother interact with the students of tomorrow is a wonder in itself. How can one woman memorize all those songs, let alone make dance hand dances to all of them? How does she have patience for those kids who, when left alone, will actually just eat glitter. It's like the cinnamon challenge, but with more organ damage. Exhibit F, she makes these brownies that she says are made with love, but we all know she really makes them with sugar, cocoa, and some avocado. Either way, I admire the air of mystery and care she likes to paint around herself and those brownies are straight up delicious. Exhibit G. This is not the last thing I love about my mother, but I don't have a lot of time and I can only pump out so much creativity per hour when one of my eyes closes slightly more than the other. Uh, but lastly for now, it's because even though we differ greatly in some areas, my mother and even though I was taller than her by the time I was 14, I, my mother has always loved me. And uh, it's, no, it's no easy feat to love me. In fact, there are many people who will say, Hey Kate, not easy to love her. Not, not an easy, not easy to do. But my mother does. And in conclusion, that's all that matters. Thank you. Thank you.